<clears throat> just powered down some eggs and toast. Like at the same time? <laughs> Kinda. That's why I wasn't very, talking very much. <clears throat> I just thought you were being antisocial again. No. I was hungry. Oh, man. Okay. God. I know. Everybody's, like, seeing all my achievements. I'm sorry. My computer broke. Um, I don't know if anybody was, was in on that. Um, we had a big electrical storm. Uh, the other day, and my computer got fried. I know. Why isn't it in a circuit breaker? It was in a fucking surge protector thing. But it... It still fried my computer, and it fried my laptop cable. Um, my, my charger cable plug thing. But, fortunately, that was easy to replace. Uh, baby girl felt bad because I was moping around the house. I looked like my puppy died. So, she went and got my computer fixed. Uh, yay for her. I love her to death. We but, do. but I got it back um, last night, I think. And um, yeah. we played some LOL. Um, and I, I really didn't feel like doing Minecraft because I, I still didn't have all of my programs up. Like, I didn't have Fraps. I didn't have any of this or that. And, I, and the shitty part is that all my passwords were on my old computer. Now, this is still the same computer, but they ended up wiping my hard drive because there was no way to save it or save my information. So, at least I get my computer back, and it, and it, it's probably for the best because I probably had viruses all throughout my computer. Did you have a good time uh, trying to remember all your passwords? Oh, my God, dude. I have, like, most of my passwords I know because I have, like, the same four fucking passwords. But, um, it, it's the passwords that are intentionally different that I'm going to have problems with. For example, like my Comcast password or my fucking, my electric bill password to pay online. And this does look like shit. Yeah, it does. I told you. And I'm out of wood, too. <laughs> I brought some. Do you have more cobble? Throwing everything at you. <sighs> I, I don't have room for this shit. <laughs> Are these two different kinds of wood? Yeah, about that. Did <laughs> 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 you fuck? And like one stare? <laughs> Yeah, kind of just cleared out my inventory. You jerk. Why'd you tear down that wood? Uh, I'm I'm going to. I'm going to. I just didn't have the stone to replace it with. <laughs> you got the stones. I don't get the stones. Oh, man. So, so what are we going to talk about now? Hmm... Oh, check this out. All right, Give me a little backstory on my love life. Uh oh, who'd you get pregnant now? Um, nobody. Okay. Um, I met this chick quite some time ago. I don't have a pickaxe. Oh, I have an extra one. I Make think. One. Oh, do you? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I met this chick a long, long time ago, right? Like what, when when we were young men? Yes, when we were young men. It was probably about like three or four years ago we met. That's not really all that long ago. It might, it might be longer. I'm not too sure. Okay. But anyways, you know, we started dating. No big deal. And this is different color wood, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... We'll make do with what we have. We start dating, you know, get all lovey dovey like and whatnot. Why'd you put this stair down? Cause you gave me one. <coughs> <coughs> alright, alright. Um, it's not, it's not, 
I didn't know what to do with it. Let's not get mad at each other right now. What's <laughs> <clears throat> saying? Yeah. I got an idea. Lovey dovey and whatnot. Mm hmm. What's your idea? I'm going to surround this with the lighter color wood. Uh, <clears throat> I gotcha. I have, I have a sand. <laughs> I have a piece of sand. <laughs> I know. It. It's, it's. Okay, anyway, continue. Continue. Sorry. Um, so, lovey dovey. Yeah, we get all lovey dovey, right? Make it in agreement, you know. Not to break each other's hearts. I stuck to it. Right. Okay. She decides to just... I don't know where to stop. Stop talking to me. It's okay. Like, whatever. <clears throat> That's cool. Shitty, but okay. It's like, whatever, you know. No big... Whoop. Go on about my life. Kind of heartbroken. And, um... She text texts me like months after this happened. Mm -hmm. Like months she, after you've lost contact. Yeah, she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your curse. I was like, oh well, I mean, congratulations. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not with the guy. I was like, mm -hmm. well, that sucks. <clears throat> I'm like, well, what do you want? You know, kind of a dick, but, I mean... I right, she broke your heart, so yeah, fuck her. I, I, th I think I have, you know, reasons to be. Mm -hmm. we, we chat for a little while, <clears throat> and I told her, I was like, man, I'm not the kind of guy that gives, you know, girls like you a second chance. Mm -hmm. But I'm lonely. I decided to give her another chance. Mm -hmm. and I don't know how smart that is. But yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't smart. So. We start talking for a while. You know. Getting back to how things used to be. Mm -hmm. And what do you know? Same shit happens. She doesn't get pregnant. But she, she stops talking to me for her baby daddy. Mm -hmm. And I was like. Ah. Oh, damn. All's well that ends well. So how does that end well? <laughs> I mean, I guess it ended well for her. She found somebody. Hmm. But she, I mean, she's back with her baby daddy. So I, I, I see her on a <clears throat> on a internet dating site. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, I haven't seen her in forever. So what do I do? I send her a message like, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Being friendly. Yeah. And we're st we're st we're st we still talk to this day. This is like, this is just happened a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, she, like, tells me every day how sorry she is and, like, she wishes everything would be different. I'm like, yeah, me too. There's this one time we were about to, you know, mm -hmm. brown chicken, do brown cow, do the do. Mm -hmm. Make the beast with two backs. Yeah. <clears throat> but she didn't want to because of the placement of my protection. The what? The placement of my protection. I was this At this time, I was living in, uh, in a house with my friend. Had a huge mm -hmm. bedroom, but I had no furniture. I had a bed and my computer desk. That's all I owned. Mm -hmm. I had a closet full of clothes, and that's it. Do well, you have more cobble, or no? No, I have nothing. Okay. I, I have gravel. Um, no, we don't need gravel. <laughs> anyway, continue. So, you know, we get we get uh, things get hot and heavy. I'm going to get some gravel. I mean, uh, okay. some cobble. What? Okay. Uh, so things start getting hot and heavy, and I go to get some protection, which I kept in a bag right next to my bed, mm -hmm. just you know for times like this. Mm -hmm. Just in case, you should always have it on you. Yes, which which weren't that often. 
mm-hmm. but she went bananas, dude. Like, it's like, why do you have those there? You know, do you do you have girls coming over here? You know, all the time that you need those for quick access. I'm like, man. Well, just that in itself, she sounds really fucking high maintenance. Yeah. So I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, right? And then like she she's slid me high and dry. I'm like, really? This this is how it's gonna go down right now. Like. Like, that kind of person sounds like the kind of person who gets upset and leaves somebody over the fact that they didn't update their Facebook fucking status. <laughs> Which, I think we had this conversation. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a bullshit reason to break up with somebody. They didn't update their Facebook status. You know, their Facebook status says that they're single. Well, you know what? Some people are just really fucking lazy. <laughs> I've known people who just don't use their Facebook at all and you know they they still have it on there but then their wives and their girlfriends are getting pissed because they never updated their status and i was like well why the fuck should they they don't use it and even if they didn't are you really really that you know fucking you know have that low self-esteem to think that your guy is on facebook picking up chicks now there there probably is guys out there who do that but I mean, for the most part, realistically, you're just making a big situation out of nothing. A mm. condom placement is 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 a pretty, it's a pretty shitty, ah. it's a pretty shitty excuse, really. Yeah, it is. Like, I was given some pretty good advice by uh by Girly. You remember Girly? Psycho. Oh yeah. Yeah. By the way, we haven't spoken since uh. Oh fuck! I don't know, man. For months now, I guess. Basically, since Baby Girl came into my life, she just fucking disappeared. Oh, which, which, which I, I have to say is sad because I really did like her kids. That those are like the few kids that I actually liked. Um, but I have to say it's probably for the best because she still lives in high school. If that makes sense. Yes. Um. Anyway. Anyway. So. She gave me some advice that I kept to heart very well. And she said, you should always keep condoms nearby. Like, in your wallet or someplace for easy access. Because you never, ever, ever know when you're going to get some ass. And, you know, you should be prepared for any moment. Like, you should be prepared for, like, you're walking down the street. And some chick's like, give it to me. You should have a condom in hand. <laughs> Not that I'm saying that you should jump on a chick who's, you know, as you're walking down the street saying, giving it to me, because that may be a trap, but, but still, you should be prepared. You should have that level of preparedness. Having them in a bag next to your bed is being prepared, and I see that as a sign of responsibility, especially with the amount of fucking STDs and things that are going around the world today. Like, yeah. if if you aren't that prepared, then you really shouldn't be giving getting hot and heavy or anything you should <laughs> hot and heavy hot and heavy like you there shouldn't be like heavy petting or, or romantic kissing on the couch like you should not be getting anywhere near that if you're not prepared to go all the way you should just stop being a pussy go to the store you know prep up man prep up <clears throat> yeah so i mean needless to say that was the last time we ever spoke for a while until recently where I saw her online, and I'm. I said hello. Mm-hmm. God, it's so laggy down here. Yeah, it is. So, did she respond? To yeah, yeah, we 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 talk like on a daily basis, but we we have horrible conversations. Like I'm I'm the kind of guy that you know takes the time. And, you know, checks, see how she's doing. Oh, I hear a guess. I take the time to see how she's doing, this, this, and that. And I should make, can we make some stairs for this? Uh, yes, please. Cobblestone stairs? Oh, yeah, sure, that'll work. Nothing fancy. What happened to the crafting table? Did I pick it up? Yeah, no. I oh, yeah, I probably did. I, I broke it. I was going to move it over here to the stone area. Uh, 
Oh, uh, let me let me let me knock down this stupid stair. Actually, you know what? I have a bunch of uh, like these kind of stairs, so I'll just I'll put these up. <laughs> um, yeah, you know she's always telling me how, she, how she's sorry and this, this, and that. I don't know what to do. Should I keep talking to her? Like, should I start something with her? I don't know. I'm confused. Um, honestly, no. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't either. Um, and only because you're questioning. If you're questioning, then that means you yourself think that there's something wrong. Do you have any more cobble? Or I have lots. <clears throat> uh, give me a little bit. We got some a little bit of patching to do. Nothing, nothing crazy. I'm gonna need more than one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Just shower me. I have more you. if you like. Yeah, I I I, I do a question. I don't know what to do. Like, I oh, I, said, yeah, I, I didn't I didn't even finish saying. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm the kind of guy you know takes some time and checks in, see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out long ass conversation, trying to messages to her, and she'll send me like one word replies. I fucking hate that. Yes. And I like the other day I was being sarcastic. I was like, "Man, don't you just love our conversations?" She's like, "Yeah, you don't." I was like, "Honestly?" She's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "No, I fucking hate our conversations." She's like, "Why?" I was like, "Man, if I was more like just quick, straight to the point kind of guy, then yeah, our conversations are awesome." But we we really don't have any conversations, like nothing whatsoever. I spend my time writing you these long ass messages, see how you're doing, you know, trying to keep up a conversation and you just write back yeah or okay. That shit's fucking pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I fucking hate that shit. It's like, you know what, I take the time to write you Ow. these long these long things and, and you should at least have the time to at least give it some real thought. Now, if, now, if I am ans asking long ass questions and they are, you know, appropriate to ask with yes or no, and that's it, I can respect the curtness. But I don't know, man. That that's annoying to me. Why do I keep coming down here? It's too laggy. <laughs> I have so much shit in my inventory. That I don't know what to do with. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you say? Do you do you think this is done? Do we have any more wood? Ah. Ah. I need one more one more piece of wood. They were shooting at me. Um wood? No. Yes. yes. Alright, thank you. I don't know, man. Yeah. I think it's just like Stop. What I was gonna say was that with me and Baby Girl we're gonna first get together. That she has she has two kids, you know, and that's mm -hmm. that's a big responsibility, especially for somebody like me who, who I don't do so. well with kids. <laughs> yeah, who who does not do well with kids, and you know I oh Jesus, oh my God, this is oh God, it hurts. Um, I don't do well with kids, so I I have to question. I had to seriously sit down and question if I was prepared, and you know I I didn't make a movement until my answer was entirely one hundred percent yes. Um. I mean, it is. I'm gonna oh. die. I'm gonna die. Don't don't die on me, man. Soul sense. I'm so slow in the soul sense. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. So so yeah. So I had to be 100 percent sure that that's you know that's what I was doing. I, I was ready. I was ready for a family. <clears throat> when my answer was yes, then I knew that you know I was good to go. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Oh, and she does have this kid now, so. I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to do. Do I like her? Yes. She fucked me over multiple times? Yes. 
I think I think you should just forget about it. I think you're going in for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I think so too. Damn. My inventory is full and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Dude, do you have any more wood? Like do you have a chest on you? I have nothing on me. I have cobblestone. I got some of this. No, I don't need that. Some of that. Some no. of that. Some no. Of this. You have the most useless <laughs> shit in your inventory. You have a book? Why do you have a book? <laughs> Why don't oh my you God. have a book? Oh my god, we've recorded for like an hour. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. Damn. Um. God. We're really bad at this timekeeping thing. But that was interesting. Interesting conversation. Yeah. Uh, interesting conversation about your sad love life. I love life is sad. It could be worse. You could have no love life. I do have no love life. <laughs> oh, well, then that's pretty sad. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut the video here. Um, Jesus. God, we're like the worst depressed people. I don't know who the fuck wants to play with us. We're fucking depressing. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty depressing episode. Yeah, it was. I, I feel sad for you. I ate eggs and... <laughs> <laughs> Vincent came on stoned as fuck on his way out the door to the club. Mm. God, what are we doing with our lives, man? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> okay, so at least we have our outpost that has a nice dance floor to it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are we going to do with all this? All right. So I'm out of here. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here, too. This is probably the last time we'll ever go to the nether. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Alright, so everyone... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it's raining. Yeah, it was raining earlier. Uh, Alright, so... I think we did a good bit of recording tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, oh, like goodness. I said, we, I got to get I gotta get up early tomorrow, sadly. But uh, hopefully, you know, I'll start uploading things. Uh, I did get some advice from a few people. Um, oh, Jesus, the fucking golem. He scared the crap out of me. <laughs> um... Some advice that was given was that I should, I should probably space out my uploads, because um, then I would get more viewers. And for some reason, I can't open the door. Why am I smoky? Like I'm on fire. Oh. Hey. Can what you open the? this door? What the hell? Did you put blocks down? Oh, is that what happened? Why are these blocks invisible? Jesus. Uh, why the hell did that happen? I don't know. Can you open the door? They're open. Are they? Now they are. Oh, God. Like, my texture pack is going fucking ape shit. Okay. Um, oh, Jesus. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, so, yeah. So, we made our outpost in the nether. We went ahead and we got the Spanish galleon. And we harvested wheat from the uh, the things. From the, uh, the Fertile Lands. We also, also, uh, learned a lot about Strike. We learned a little bit about Vincent. And uh, we learned a little bit about myself. And then, you know, all, all the lovely ladies of YouTube. Those above the age of 18. Those who are so super smexy that you are the envy of all. You should probably hook up with Strike. See, man, I'm trying to hook you up. I'm trying to get you ass. It's not about just ass. Okay. You can have the other thing too. So, <laughs> <laughs> not what I was going at. Whatever. <laughs> but whatevs. Okay, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch you all later, and uh, you know, hopefully, I'll, I'll sort the issue with my fucking computer. Oh, now the door's open. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, anything you'd like to say to our YouTube audience? See you guys later. All right. Peace out. <laughs>